So I couldn't find the Mizena, uh, my, <laughs> sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong, but uh, so I couldn't find the Mizena brand for the cornstarch. So I'm just gonna use this organic cornstarch that I have in my pantry. It's pretty much the same thing. See, the Fecule de Mas, it says the same thing on the Mizena brand. So I know cornstarch is not the preferred method, but it's kind of like in a pinch method for making atole. I got a tablespoon of cornstarch here. I'm gonna do approximately three tablespoons because I like my atole on the thick side. And again, this is kind of like an ad hoc atole that I'm making. It's not really traditional, but I'm on the acid watcher diet. I can't put any sugar in it. I'll put the type of sugar that's normally used to make atole down in the captions below, but I'm just gonna make this plain and then maybe add a parade with banana in it later if I want it sweet. So there it is, three tablespoons. I'm gonna mix this with a little bit of water, cold water. I ran out of my tiny little misking whisk, but that's preferable. So I'm just gonna use a fork. So fork is a little harder to completely emulsify. I'm gonna use my big whisk later on in the pot. So it was boiling before and I just turned it off. So I'm turning on the fire again. And I'm gonna slowly pour in the cornstarch, whoops. It's hard to film with one hand, so I'm just going to do this off camera. So I got my big whisk here. The small one is washing the dishwasher, as you can probably hear in the background. And this is on high, and while it boils, you want to just continue mixing it so there's no lumps. I promise you it's doing really good. I mean, it's plain, but the cinnamon stick will give it some flavor. And if you're on the acid wash diet, sugar is not allowed, but banana is allowed. So if you like banana flavor atole, you can totally pour that in here. Okay, so I guess the amount of milk that I put in is about a quart. I thought I put a little less because I used some the other day. So this is actually kind of pretty, I think, normal consistency for a tole. Don't quote me on that. I'm like not Spanish or Mexican, but um, my aunt used to make this stuff when... Uh, my tia, basically. Used to make this stuff when I was a little kid, so I, I only vaguely remember how it was like. Okay, so I mixed it in with some oats that I had from previous night just to make into like a little breakfast cereal but you can just drink the totally on its own in a cup, in a mug. This is a sugar-free, dairy-free atole. It's gonna be plain so if you want some flavoring, go ahead and put whatever flavoring you want in it and whatever kind of sugar you want in it. So I just tried some, oops it's blurry, but I just tried some behind the screen with the oatmeal and um, actually, it tastes fine, plain. The cinnamon stick really gives it a, a nice flavor to it. I think I'm going to show you what I do to make banana atole. That can be your natural sweetener. Okay, so as you can see, the atole has thickened a lot in the refrigerator. So I'm going to go add some more almond milk. And of course, I'm going to take out the cinnamon. The only reason why I left the cinnamon there is because I like that cinnamon punch kind of flavor. So I added more almond milk, and I'm gonna heat it back up again. And again, make sure you mix it very well, otherwise it will get lumpy. Actually, I have an immersion blender, so I'm gonna use that because, as I said before, I'm gonna add a banana here. It looks kind of green, but it's actually yellow. I don't know why it looks green. So I have a medium-sized banana here. I'm actually going to just use half of the banana and see how it tastes that way because I don't want to over sweeten this. Okay, I added the remaining banana here. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Because I took a little taste and it tastes good, but because I diluted it so much, it's a bit on the watery side, so I'm gonna add the remaining half of the banana just to thicken up it a little. It 
It's a little foamy from the immersion blender, but the foams will die off. And there we have it. It's a nice liquidy, but still semi-thick consistency. And there we have it. Banana Cinnamon Atole. Ooh, it's nice and hot. I'll let it cool down. Paws? Yes, those paws are pretty. It's a happy cat. You're a happy cat. <laughs>